How's it going? It's Nikolai from Global Seafood North America. Today we have our uh, Forrest Gump edition, Bubblegum Shrimp edition. If you like shrimp, we gotta get you a lot of depth of shrimp. Mm -hmm. So here we go. We got our shrimp right there. This is a Mexican shrimp. We're gonna go back to our regular voice instead of trying to uh, do the bubblegum. The Forrest Gump uh, voice. We got Mexican wild caught shrimp. We're going to Make them on a skillet with a beer sauce. It's going to be absolutely delicious. This is going to come from uh, down from Louisiana. Really simple ingredients. We got olive oil. We have some Old Bay seasoning, some parsley, some garlic, tomatoes, and of course beer. Uh, we chose Kira Nichiban. Um, those of you who don't like beer, obviously this is not going to be for you. This is going to have lots of beer flavors. It's going to be delicious. Here we have our shrimp. We have peeled them. We use this peeler. You stick it in for where the body is and just peels it open. But they're nice and ready. We're going to use some Old Bay seasoning here. We're going to sprinkle it on. Just going to mix it up really well with our hands. We may have to add a little bit more, but you really just want to be very generous with it. This is going to give you a lot of flavor. You know, as they say in southern cooking, you don't want to skimp on the seasoning. You want to have lots of flavor. So don't be shy. Add some more. There we go. And mix it all up. Really get it all over the shrimp. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be beautiful. Get it all on there. Look at that. All right, got the flame on, got to heat the pan. Now, as I'm saying here, you have to heat the pan first. Otherwise, you're going to do it wrong. You got to heat the pan, get the pan hot, then you put the oil on, okay? One way to really do this is I'm going to show you in this video because you know, we did lose the sound, so we're voicing over it, is you can just put your hand over this frying pan and feel the heat. Okay, don't put your hand on the frying pan. Um, you can also just spray some water on there and a little sizzle away. That means your pan is ready. And from there, you can add the oil. All right, so the oil is heated up. Obviously, don't touch the oil. You will burn your fingers. So now that we have the oil, it's nice and hot. We're going to take some of this minced garlic that we got. We're going to throw it on the Here the sizzle sizzle means we let it heat up properly we're going to let this brown okay and we're going to let it cook so we really get that flavor and scent out okay we don't want to overdo it though so it's not going to be for a very long time so that's pretty much it okay we're not waiting for it to brown now we're going to take up our chopped tomatoes put the tomatoes on there oh yeah now we're cooking that's going to be beautiful right there and we're immediately going to throw all of our shrimps right on the pan okay we're going to let these sear and brown a little bit on each side All right, let's let these stir in. Get them evenly in the pan. Ooh, it smells fantastic. Spicy, garlicky, smell the tomatoes cooking, the shrimps cooking. All right, these aren't your farm shrimps. These are wild Mexican shrimps caught off of the Sea of Cortez. You see they're nice and blue when they're raw. Once you start cooking them, they're going to start turning into that red color right there that everyone sees. Remember, if it's red, it's been cooked already. Look at the fire. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. It's going to be beautiful and delicious. All right. We got our beer. You don't want to use anything too dark. Uh, we use Kirin Ichiban. Pretty light got flavor to it. I'm going to pop this open. Of course, we have to taste the quality. Delicious. Let's pour it on. I'm going to get these. Whoop. 
doing a bit. Nice and covered. And the rest, the rest is for you. Especially if you get a tall boy can. Woo. We're going to let these shrimps here boil in that there. Going to bring this beer to a boil. Maybe you can add a little bit more too. Oh, this smells so fantastic. It's delicious. You can smell the maltiness of the beer, the old bay seasoning, the shrimps, and the garlic. It is beautiful. Look at these guys. Once they get nice and firm, they are nice and ready. Okay, so we're going to turn the fire off. All right, we're taking it off of our stovetop. Here it is. It's so beautiful. Oh, smells like smells like love, money, and happiness. Um, so let's give this a try. We got our trusty fork. This is probably going to be harder than Hades right now. So let's choose one. Come on in. Let's which one should we choose? Let's get this guy right here. Look at him. Oh, look at that shrimp. Look at how beautiful it is. Look at how steamy it is. Oh, great. Let's give it a bite. Uh, cool this guy off because it is hotter than Hades right now. I'm gonna try to grab it by its tail. Mmm, <laughs> so good. You, you have the sweetness of the shrimp immediately. Then you're hit with the maltiness of the beer, okay? And then a little bit of kick of spice. But it's not, not a big spice. If you're scared of spices, don't be. This is not super spicy. It just kind of gets you for a second, and then it's gone, okay? It just makes you want to take another bite. And there it is. Mm, this is beautiful. This is really simple to make. Did not take us a lot of time. Probably in total, maybe 20 minutes. So if you need something quick and easy with shrimp, this is delicious. Yeah, I absolutely recommend it. So like, follow. We got more stuff coming. Have a good one, guys.